Now, let's get started. If you guys would like to know how to make a salmon just like this, a pan seared salmon just like this, stay tuned. What's up guys? It's your girl Kaylee Bueno here and you guys are watching Bueno Eats. If you're new to my channel, please hit that like, subscribe, and that notification button down below so you know what's up. Like I've been saying in my channel, if you guys would like to see anything on my channel, please comment that down below what it is. We are accepting donations, so if you can please, please help the Bueno Eats channel and help us out. My username and everything is all in the description down below. Now, let's get started with this pan seared salmon. Now, to get start prepping this salmon, uh, I'm swallowing my spit. Now, to get started with this pan seared salmon, you're gonna need a fillet just like this. This is about two and a half to maybe three pounds of salmon. We're gonna then cut them in four pieces. Obviously, it's gonna feed about four people. Next, you're gonna pat the salmon dry because I washed it beforehand. This also helps it so that I can have more of an even seasoning. Next, with seasoning the salmon, you're gonna need salt, white pepper, and garlic powder. You're gonna rub it all in and make sure all the seasonings are deep in there and massage it so that your baby can be nice and flavorful. You're gonna need about half a teaspoon or a half a tablespoon to season all these fillets because you're just gonna like put enough seasoning so that it's all over the salmon. We're gonna start with the sauce for these fillets. You're gonna get about four springs of rosemary, mince it and put it to the side. You're next going to get about three to four springs of thyme, do the same thing, and mix together with your rosemary. You're lastly going to need a chili oil. I made my own chili oil. If you guys would like to know the recipe to my chili oil, put that in the comments down below. But you can find chili oil in pretty much any store. Most of the time I find them in Asian markets, but I've also found it at, found it at Vons and Sprouts. Now, to get started on your sauce for your salmon, you're gonna get your pot on a medium-low heat. You're then gonna add about a tablespoon of butter. Let your butter melt, and then you're gonna add your herb mix that you had earlier today. Then, you're gonna add about a half a lemon of juice. And add your chili oil. Add it about two tablespoons of, your, of the chili oil. Mix that all together, and then you're gonna add about a third cup of wine. Burn off your wine like I've shown you with a lighter and let it flame, but if you're too scared of the fire, you can do it and let it reduce on its own on a medium low heat. It's only gonna take about two to five minutes. Burn off the, burn off the alcohol and then you're gonna add about maybe a tablespoon of salt. You can also add about a tablespoon of bouillon if you want a little bit more of a meaty flavor. Now, to get started with this salmon, make sure your pan is hot. I can't stress that enough. I'll come even closer to the camera. It better be hot. Once you put that oil, the oil better be steaming. Don't put it on no cold pan because that is not correct. You're not going to get a crust with that. Stressing it out. I can't. Make sure it's hot. Even if you have to, turn your pan on to the highest heat and let it get hot. And then once you're about to be ready to put the salmon on, turn it to a medium heat. So, 
Now, after I stretched out the skillet, we're then gonna add the salmon. Carefully place your salmon onto the pan, and if you choose to, you don't have to, because I'm a chef, I'm not afraid to put my hands in the salmon because I'm not afraid of no heat. Obviously, with all these burning my scars. <laughs> but if you're afraid to do that, it's, it, it won't happen if you're careful. But for you guys, I know not everybody is a chef like I am, Put use a spatula to flatten it out. You can flatten it out once you put it on there because your salmon has to kind of relax. Because once you put it on the pan, it's like... So you gotta like relax it so that you can get an even crust. So use a spatula to flatten it out. You can also use your hand if you feel experienced enough, but I wouldn't do it if you don't know what you're doing. So just letting you know, you don't want these. I just, I can't help myself. I feel like I'm, I'm a firebender sometimes. I can't help it. But use a spatula to flatten it out and help it relax. You're then gonna let your salmon cook for about maybe two to five minutes. Just enough so that when it's ready to flip. Usually when your salmon is ready to flip, you don't have to like struggle it or force it to flip. It will flip on its own. So once you put it on there, don't touch that shit. Don't touch it. Let it cook on its own. Flatten it out. Let it relax. Don't touch it. Let it cook about two to five minutes until it gets a nice crust. If it needs a little bit longer, just make sure that you just, if you need to check it, put your spatula a little bit under and if it comes off easily, then it's ready. If it looks like it's burning on the side, make sure you turn your pan down just a little bit so that it doesn't burn your crust. You want a nice golden crust, as I'm showing you guys right here. It's nothing more beautiful than an even golden crust. I'm trying to express this to you because I can't stand it when people just keep fucking with it and then you wonder why your, your shit's fucked. Cook on its own. Make sure it's nice and flat. Make sure it's relaxed because you love it and you want the salmon to be great. So cook it for about two to five minutes. You should get a nice even crust. Or if you need to check it, or if you don't even really know how much just how, how much time it's been cooking, just kind of like go under it with the spatula. If it flips easily, then you know it's ready. If it's not even like giving, don't touch it. Let it cook. If it looks like it's burning, turn it down. I can't express it enough. Now, once you got a beautiful crust just like this, you're just gonna flip it over and let your salmon cook peacefully on the other side. You can add a little bit of butter to kind of give it more of a moisture and a better flavor. Sometimes I like to do that. I just didn't show it on this video. I usually do, but I just didn't show it on. Sometimes when I'm cooking on here, I, like, I mess up and I forget things. And it gets on my nerves that I do that. But if you guys want a little bit of moisture, you can add like a little bit of butter, like a half teaspoon of butter. And just let it melt and it'll have a wonderful moisture in your salmon. So let this cook for about maybe f uh, five, five, seven more minutes until it's like a little bit undercooked. You wanna kinda cook it a little bit under well done because once you take it off, your salmon is still cooking. You gotta undercook it a little bit. This is how you make moisture into your fish. If you cook it too much and then you take it off, it's still cooking. So now you got an over well done salmon that has no moisture and it's dry as fuck. Yes, we're making a sauce, but when you have dry salmon, that sauce ain't gonna help. You're still gonna taste dry salmon. Take it off your pan, and then I'm gonna show you guys how to plate it. Now you guys got this beautiful crust and moist salmon. I'm gonna show you guys how to play it with a nice sauce and some micro herbs on top. You can eat it like this. Or you guys can use the mac and cheese that I did a couple videos back. I'll put the link of an annotation up top. I hope you guys watched that because it was terrific with the salmon, I must say. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Yeah.
guys we are coming to the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please hit that like button down below as you guys know if you're new to my channel please hit that like subscribe and that notification button down below so you guys know what's up you guys can see my videos and you guys can learn new recipes for you guys to eat at home because we all are on this quarantine and i want to show you guys some fine dining recipes for you guys to cook at home so yeah we are accepting donations again i'm letting you guys know because we do need help because these ingredients are expensive and i am broke so I need a little help. So please, my information is down there below. If you guys can send me some money, that would be terrific. Also, like I've been saying in my channel, if you guys would like to see anything on my channel, please comment that down below what it is. I would love to see what you guys have to say because I want to include you guys in my videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next week. I love you guys. Peace.